we're just opening the. No, I'm opening the craft vault. The big wheel on the front of the vault. I'm misunderstood. Look, if I was driving a motorbike, I'd be like that, wouldn't I? <laughs> and then, and then. Hello! 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 Oh, you make my cheeks ache. <laughs> We're in the vault! 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 Anyway, um, welcome to Crafters TV. <laughs> my name's Ben Mosby, thank you. I was only doing that because at the start of the show, John was just stood, he was literally stood just about there and he was m mucking about, pretending to open the craft box. And then of course I had to then continue it on just because, you know, lads will be lads and all that. Boys, 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 lads, lads, lads. Um, I wasn't driving a truck, Linda, I was opening the truck. If I'd been driving a truck, I'd have been doing that, wouldn't I? And then I'd have been going, ha ha, that's a truck. Ha ha. That's what they do. Yeah. And a big wheel. With your CB radio. My CB radio, <laughs> yes. They like your truck noise, your horn. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> everybody has joined us for the <laughs> crafty content. Imagine if you joined for the first time. We are a craft channel, honestly. Uh, my name is Ben Mosby, although um, if you're getting annoyed with me, I'm Craig Laird. Um, <laughs> the, it, we are opening the craft vault. Craft vault, for me, is like a mini cartload, right, where we bring you so many great deals. When we do a craft vault, we don't have the stock levels that we have on a cartload, although we do have amazing deals. Today's craft vault, if you're thinking, oh, I bet it's going to be Easter themed because it's Easter uh, this coming weekend, that's where you'd be wrong, see. We do have some Easter deals on the website, uh, which you will find uh, just by going to craftlesscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu. But over the course of the next couple of hours, we are concentrating on all things Christmas. Yes, uh, we have opened up the Christmas craft vault because we think it's a good time actually to bring you some amazing Christmas deals uh, so that you're ready in good time for when you start making those cards, start doing your projects, because it won't be long, will it? Because we always talk about Christmas in June, Christmas in July, uh, and this is your opportunity. I have got stacked shelves underneath here of so many Christmas goodies that you may have missed first time around last year. Maybe you weren't even watching us last year and you're thinking to yourself, have not got uh, many Christmas items ready for this year. Well, we are going to get you all sorted. You can pick up some of the very best Christmas items from years gone by uh, so that you're ready to grab all the new ones that we throw your way in June and July time. Um, it's going to be fast paced. It's going to be furious. Loads of great deals. And it is not just me over the course of this show. I will be bringing you the deals and showing you the inspiration over the other side of the studio. It is the wonderful uh, Corin Robinson. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. Yes, we've all sat and had lunch and digested and now we're ready to go aren't we i think we are ready and if only they if only they could see you singing chikatika with brent at lunchtime it was amazing it was very good you were in harmony together was i was good. doing the boom 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 and he was doing the chikatita Tita, tell me what's wrong. It was that, very good. That, why did that all start, though? Can you remember? Because Charlotte, in our ear, had a chicken tikka sandwich. Yes, she did. She went to Greg's. Other savoury snack places are available. And she got a chicken tikka baguette. And she's like, oh, well, yeah, like, man, I'm having my chicken tikka baguette. Like, man, it's proper, proper lush, like. And, um, <laughs> and then from that, I then got chicken tikka stuck in my head. And we all started singing chicka tita. Chicka tikka, chicka tikka, I can't know what it's called now. <laughs> that song by Abba that sounds like chicken tikka. And then we had a great, it, I mean, the hour just flew over, didn't it? Uh, who's in then anyway today? Hello, who's on the, so I'm not even seen, who's on the socials? It is Radical Rachel on the socials. Um, oh no! I haven't put my Christmas jumper on. I didn't. I'll put some- I'll, That wasn't I'll, Ben. 
That, what? That wasn't you. That this was time. an actual truck, that wasn't yeah. it? I'll go and put a jacket on in a minute. Uh, Gail Moore's joined us saying good morning, everyone. Checking in from <laughs> Maryland. Hey, Gareth Dobbs. Sarah Brown says hello, everyone. I'm here. Hoping everyone is doing well. A uh, hug for everybody from Melbourne, Australia. It's now 11 p.m. and we are now officially finished with daylight savings. Uh, Alicia says good morning and greetings from Arkansas. Uh, I work in Little Rock. Oh, in parts of the city were hit by a tornado last Friday. Saw that um, in the news. Hope everyone is okay. Uh, I made it home just in time to be safe. Um, Linda says, hello from Maryland. Hello to Astrid. Hey to Mary Beth Doyle. And Eleanor Schwing Jones says, hi, everyone. Uh, Miss US Lady is in from Michigan. Paul Prince is in from South Carolina. Uh, Karen Wells says, I'm glad you got the vault open, Ben. I know. Uh, and Miss US Lady says, I see this is still a comedy show. Um, and Gareth says, of course we're here for the crafty content. It's entertainment, it's fun, it's deals, it's inspiration, it's everything you want. Uh, and Rachel Norton says, uh, love the hair, Corinne. Ben, you. you're splendid as per usual. I haven't commented on your hair, actually, and I keep meaning to, because it's a different colour, isn't it? It's a little time. bit lighter. Yeah. Yeah, it hides the grey better. You're not grey. I am. Are you? Yeah. It's longer as well, isn't it? No, it's been this long since July. It hasn't got any longer at all. Ah. So it can't get any longer. Oh, it's the yeah. extensions. Yeah. Yeah. Do they come out eventually then? Yeah. Ah. ah. So yeah. hair today gone tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. Hair today gone tomorrow. Uh, good morning, everyone from sunny Montana. Yay, my favourite time of year, Christmas, is Mary Pat one. Thousand and Rachel's just sent in a picture of a Christmas jumper. Um, if you're getting in the Christmas mood, celebrate our Christmas craft bowl. Uh, send us pictures of your jumpers, please. Uh, if I do get time, I'll go and I'll go and see. I think I've got a jacket in there. I don't think I've got um, a jumper, but I'll go and have a look. Should we get started on the first deal then? Um, now I must just tell you on the website currently we do have a special code that you can use up until midnight tonight, uh, which is spend sixty save fifteen pounds or dollars. Um, what you're going to find over this show there's lots of prices like this there's lots of 65% savings where you don't spend that you spend this and we were working out earlier on that we reckon if you spend um, and buy potentially three four possibly five of the collections in the show you'll stack up to that 60 mark and then you can save an extra 15 which would be incredible across the ranges that we've got frosty and bright being the first one um, one of the biggest collections of last year no it was not was it actually Wow. It was, Frosty and Bright was 2022 because it, it launched while I was here. Oh, uh, watercolour Christmas was the year before. Thank goodness for that, producer Nicola, because otherwise I would have been going grey myself then. Uh, it's definitely last year. But you get a lovely selection of elements from the full collection. It's not the full collection, obviously, but look, you get some of the best dyes. One of the most beautiful Christmas tree dyes I think you'll ever wish to get is right here. Uh, you're going to get all of the detail you're seeing just here. You've got the uh, edgeable effect in there. It's almost like a, a dye bread, as I um, like to call these, because you've got the edgeable, but you've also got that creator card effect in here too. Uh, look at it, here it is. It's amazing, right there for you. Here it is. There, absolutely uh, amazing. Were you trying to get Charlotte to come in to the, get the picture? No, no, of course I wasn't. I just wanted you to see all the detail that you've got in there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, then you've got uh, these, well, um, sort of edgeables really, they are aren't edibles, they? They are aren't they? Yeah, um, but they cut into your cardstock as well. So you get half of the sentiment on top uh, and then you've got the cutting part below. So this, they could be a die bread. Merry and bright. Really nice to do a bit of your paper piecing with. Happy, f I thought I said happy foliage then for a second. Happy holidays. You've got your um, happy Christmas. And then to add into all of that, another wonderful um, Christmas stamp and die set where you get the Christmas uh, detailing in die form and then all of these stamps to make up your own little Christmas message with so I mean there's loads of different ways to do it Merry Christmas wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year uh, wishing you a Happy Christmas with all the trimmings wishing you a Christmas filled with the warmth of family friends and fun Christmas is better when you're together and the magic of Christmas never ends so you get loads of stamps loads of dies and if that wasn't good enough 50 grams of your faux snow. Great for decorating, great for shaker elements, great bundle that for £12.80, six dies, nine stamps, 50 grams of snow, $12.80, $16. An amazing deal. Snap this up. And as we were seeing comments earlier on, people saying, oh, I think I've got certain elements of 
say Frosty and Bright, for example. But at that price, I don't even care if I double up on dies or stamps because it's a snap me up price, that Corin, isn't it? It certainly is. It's what we were saying earlier from we were doing it from one of the other collections. It's almost the price of one of the elements. So I'm not sure how much is this Christmas tree normally on its own. You know, £12.80, you're probably paying that really for the for the Christmas tree. But look at how lovely the Christmas works with that. This one's been used with gilded flakes. Oh, yeah. Really, really pretty. So you've got that. But I just love how um, Nicola here has popped in some little gems on this one just to give it a bit extra and then you've still got you've got Christmas filled with warmth of family friend, family friends and fun which works gorgeous you've got the edge balls so you've got it over the top and then we've paper piece there and we've popped one in here and then the other one happy holidays Again, just give it a little bit of a drop shadow with the pink or make a frame like Julia did here. Really, really lovely. But it's just the value when you're getting all of these elements for that price there, £12.80 or $16. It's just brilliant. Oops, or even if you've got it the right way up. There we are. Yeah, amazing. Um, lovely cards, lovely project. That's what you can achieve with this set. £12.80, $16. Get stocked up. And what you'll find is, obviously, you'll get these home. You'll pop these away in a drawer. And you're not going to use them now, are you? But you'll have them there for when you want them. As we go through all of the collections that we've got on the show, uh, you will see that we've got Christmas covered along lots of different angles. We've got kind of traditional, we've got vintage, we've got religious, all covered in the show. You can go quicker than we all go by shopping the show or indeed shopping the day. Uh, hey to Sue L from a rainy Torquay. That's my manner, that is. Um, only 263 days to Christmas. I thought it was 233. It but, can't um, be, because it's eight months, which is 200, be what? 230. Because if there's eight months... Oh, 264, apparently. There we go, Nicholas yeah. worked it out. All right. 264. Yeah. Ben says, Heather, I have the same Christmas sweater that you had last year with the crackling fire on your phone. It was a big hit. It's fun, that, isn't it? You slot your phone into the front of your uh, sweater and it looks like the fire's going. Uh, ben, love your shirt. Thank you. Um, it's got me uh, US stars and stripes on it. A um, couple of things already ordered, says Nikki Hurton. Never too early for Christmas. It's my favourite time of the year. Mm -hmm. um, well, if you love Christmas, you're loving this show. Shall we have a look at some vintage snowmen? Um, £12, $15.20 for this collection. It is uh, 20 dies, 27 stamps, and your cut and emboss folder included. It has got that sort of uh, vintage, uh, bygone era feel to it here, uh, but with Mr. and Mrs. Snowman being the uh, main focal point, being the stars of this collection in stamp and die form. This is gorgeous again. Nice big dies that you can um, get cutting out all of your stamped images with. You've got little um, snowmen and well, snowman and snowwoman there. You've got your pillar box. You've got your sleigh. Love the fact as well that you've got all of the dies to be able to cut out the images that you create. This one here is your old Christmas tree with the little carol singing snowman round the Christmas tree. That old-fashioned lantern in there with the little baby deer and the robin. Super cute. You've then got a full stamp set on its own. So Christmas in your heart with that snowman as we saying earlier on an even more sort of vintage feel to him keep christmas in your heart the snowflake stockings and holly and ivy in there this is super cute as well uh, seasonal sentiments in die form uh, once again love the fact that you've got the block capital uh, block capital detailing and then that really beautiful almost sort of calligraphy effect with uh, merry christmas snow much fun season's greetings and merry and bright and then this amazing cut and emboss folder as well that wintry scene uh, that you can create of course um, things like your shaker cards with maybe cross this over with the Frosty and Bright collection that we showed you a few moments ago and use some of your faux snow uh, shaker elements in there. But you're saving £30, you're saving $38 and that price for all of this. Like, I don't know, for, for that, for, for those two elements alone, you're pleased at £12, $15.20. But then the fact that we're throwing in more stamps, the fact that we're throwing in even more even more uh, stamps and dies, and another set of stamps and dies as well. That does represent very, very good value for money. Um, so snap it up. We can have a look at a few cards with uh, Corinne from this we collection. We can. I love this one because this this collection really makes me want to get my um, alcohol pens out and colour. You could also do it with your aqua pens, but. I love the intensity of colour with the um, alcohol pens, but how about that? Look at that with the sleigh coloured in the 
background isn't that absolutely beautiful i didn't show you one earlier with this with that gorgeous snowman again as we were saying earlier it's all about just adding a little bit of color to the white doesn't that look effective Oh, really yeah. vintage, mm. so so pretty. Well, that's our Lily's colouring that one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Nice one, Lily. She's good, isn't she? So then again on this one, I think she, it's I think it's a lady because she's got like little earmuffs on, hasn't she? There. But again, you can change how that looks just by changing the colours that you colour with. There we go. And then, as you mentioned, you've got your cut and emboss folder. Team it up with the sentiments if you want here or team it up with um, a shaker there um, as well. And like you say, that faux snow is going to be brilliant in your shakers. Absolutely. Right, 12 quid for all of that, $15.20. Incredible value for money. And don't forget, if you're putting these collections in your basket and you're getting close to that 60 marker, uh, don't forget to use that code. It's on the front page of our website to save yourself £15. Uh, Cheryl Arl says, ho, ho, ho. Good morning, everyone. How fun. Christmas in April. P.S. says Cheryl, it is cold enough here this morning for Christmas. Where are you, Cheryl, again? You'll have to let us know. I do try and remember where you all are. Um, and actually, if you have got any, like Joe Holzer has just said, uh, pictures of snow this morning, send them in um, to kind of set the, set the scene for us. Uh, Joe says, I've just sent a photo of our very snowy morning to help set the mood for Christmas. Uh, Nicola is uh, seeing it right now. She says it's cute. Maybe we'll do a little snow gallery shortly. Um, and just a quick question from uh, Mum for Boys. She says on YouTube, hello. When would you use gilding flakes, before or after embossing? Right, so I think it was about the one that I showed on here. Yeah. So let me see if I can find the card back. It was this card here. So the gilding flakes here. What I would be doing is I'd put a sheet of sticky back plastic over my card die cut uh, yeah. and then peel the backing off and then put my gilding flakes on for something like that. I wouldn't be using, when you want it solid like that, I wouldn't be using glue because it could go patchy. I'd use like um, a sheet of sticky back plastic, you know, um, sticky back adhesive, yeah. you know, you, adhesive sheets on your cardstock for that. But die cut first yeah. and then put your gilding flakes on. Nice one. Yeah. Great question. Keep them coming. Uh, keep the fix coming as well. Thank you, Joe, for sending yours in. Uh, Ronnie says, Ben, your shirt could represent Christmas in July. I know it's a stretch, but it could work. I mean, it could, couldn't it? It could do that. It's one of my newer ones, this. I really like it. Huh? It's, it's one of the newer ones. Yeah, well, it is my newest shirt. Yeah, I bought it um, a few weeks ago. It's because it's got the US flag in the stars. And it was, well, it wasn't annoying, but I wore it one day thinking, oh, everyone might comment, say how nice the shirt is, and nobody noticed. Aww. What? You can't see them? Hey! There you go, look. Anyway. Uh, thank you. Next up, Bethlehem. And haven't we shown you in the first three collections, uh, Frosty and Bright, sort of traditional vintage with the vintage snowman. Now we go down that sort of Christmas story route with your uh, Bethlehem collection. It's great as well for us too, because you know what? We have so many collections here, so many launches, and I don't know about you, Corinne, but sometimes I forget about these collections. Oh, you done. do? It's nice you, to get a reminder. It's really, it's very true. I mean, it's lovely when you, especially when you see that cross-pollinated across the collections as well. I don't know, like the fancy Christmas sentiments with, as we're going to say, Bethlehem here mm. or the vintage snowman. Because we do. We buy a collection and we use that collection and then we put that one away and then we go on to the next one. And they do cross over so much. Yeah. And I'm, I'm as guilty as the next person forget it, for, for forgetting what I've already got. Yeah. And uh, th this one is um, incredible. There's one particular die in here, we'll come to it in a second, which made me just think how much I love this collection when we did launch it. This was definitely last year, uh, but it's your Bethlehem set. 12, oh, sorry, no, £13.60 for this. Uh, we'll get the details up. $16.80 if you're platinum. Um, 17 dies, 23 stamps. So this here is your little town of Bethlehem. So you, again, if you'd like to be able to create your uh, scenic cards, 3D cards, great way to be able to do that. Um, of course, then you've got all of your um, animals and all of the uh, components there to create your manger. Then you've got all of these stamps, loads of stamps within this collection, yes. actually. Um, and that, that village one really appeals to me because the white, it's so clever how you're not stamping white, but no. the white silhouette looks so effective, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. 
Um, and really same, clever. same again that you've got your little manger in stamp form um, and loads of, well, well, they're all Christmas songs, aren't they? I'm not going to sing them, but no, bad luck, bad luck. Silent night, let heaven and nature sing. What's that one from? Joy to the world, joy to the world, uh, peace on earth. <laughs> singing in my ear, away in a manger, you've got Christmas blessings and enjoy the wonder, of, wonder the of the season. Then more stamps with the joyous uh, sentiments. This one again, very clever because you've got that beautiful little um, town stamp there. You've oh, got your Christmas songs again. Have you? Uh, uh, unto us a child is born. Unto us a ch oh, no, I don't sing it. Unto us a child is born. Uh, oh, little town of Bethlehem. There's two versions to that, isn't there? Yeah. Is there? Hmm. Oh, I don't know that. No, I don't. No, I don't know that. No, I didn't know. There's two, yeah, two versions of, yeah, there's that one that you're singing, Charlotte, and there's another one. I'm not singing it. And then you're also going to get all these dies. And these are the, some really, really cute dies in this collection. You've got that Christmas uh, wreath. All the, it's a blessed bauble, uh, but it, it, it's got the um, picture of little baby Jesus in the manger there. Um, and again, as we discussed earlier on, you could potentially um, sort of multi-cut this, layer it up and actually create a little um, Christmas sort of bauble or decoration with that to hang on your tree. Then you've got Silent Night. Again, really wonderful uh, die-cut sentiment that you can pop on all of your projects. And then my favourite die within this set, which is the Bearing Gifts, which is just like a beautiful stained glass window you might see um, in your local church. A screaming to be paper piece, that one, isn't it? it? Is, Absolutely isn't it? gorgeous. But all of that you're getting for £13.60, $16.80. Uh, and we can have a look at some cards, maybe, yeah. this collection. I can take you with that, that window one, put it over some acetate, the die cut, and then colour it and with the alcohol pens. Would look mm -hmm. beautiful. This one is so clever. Looks so pretty. The gold background with the navy blue bauble detail. But then look at that, it flips round and it's a navy bauble with a gold detail. I just think that is so, so pretty. You can see in the two different colourways. Really, really pretty. And that's also using the silent night down there. And then you've got that gorgeous window. So this one is just over a white card and that's been coloured. Quite a lot of sparkle pen on that one. We yeah. were talking about sparkle pens oh, in yeah. the last show. This one is so, so pretty. And again, you could use, you could, that's the stamp, that lovely stamp that we were oh, talking yeah. about. Is that a shaker? Yeah. Oh. oh, nice. Yeah, really, really good. And then another of those stamps on there. And again, with that silent night. Or oh, that one here has come from the nativity. And then look at this, really, really Ooh, gorgeous. That is brilliant. And you didn't have to be sort of just black and gold. I love this with the white and the gold. Really works. Sorry, it's got a bit squashed in the box. There we go. Look at that. And then that nativity scene playing out along the front. Really beautiful card and so easy to put together when you've got the dies and stamps. Yeah, and look, we've shown you three collections so far. Uh, and if you're loving all of these, again, you're getting close to that 60 mark today. Don't forget, spend 60, say 15 with that code um linda just saying i bought this collection last year and i love it i, I think we need i uh you'll have to do the maths yourself here but um i yeah. worked out if you spent 50 pound and then you bought another collection that was it was about 12 pound 12 pounds you were getting it, it for a pound yeah it would have worked out it yeah been really really Depends. Depends which ones you get. You're gonna, you know, if one of these is pushing you over the fifty pound or sixty pound, sixty dollar mark, then yeah, you're gonna get get them for next to nothing. Yeah. If this one, you'd actually you'd actually be saving money even with an extra one. If this is the one that's pushed you over, yeah, you're gonna be one pound forty cheaper than not having it in your basket. So much math today, my mind is blown. <laughs> I just think get to sixty, use the code. Well, don't see what, you'll know what happens because you get £15, 15 pound off. off. So your basket will come down to 45 I'll see what the situation is, says, uh, says Nicola. See how cheap it is. Linda Shockley Julen says, Ben, my husband laughed a lot when reading me the jokes from your book. It was a hit. If I were to judge it by his laughter. Well, that's great news. Um, I'm very pleased. I, 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 wish, I wish I had more of the joke books because I, I know a few of you missed out on them and I know if Sarah, if you're watching from the craft along last week, I know I did promise you one, but I haven't found another joke book yet. So 
Uh, maybe I'll pop down to the warehouse, see if they've got any left down there. I know they were very popular, so that's probably why there are none um, flying around. But um, yeah, thank you, Linda. I'm glad that you and your husband enjoyed the jokes. Next up, Christmas decorative stamp and die collection. This is a wonderful set because you're going to get in this set uh, 12 dies, six stamps, and almost to get, if you like, like quick, easy cards that create you a beautiful frame, um, you know, create the opportunity to make something like a shaker, make beautiful box lids, uh, but then also give you the opportunity to, um, to kind of snip and multi cut, then these are they. Because what I love is you get beautiful decorative frames with each and every one of these, whether you want to cut straight into your cardstock or cut the frame out. And then like this snowflake one, which is actually called falling snow, because you've got so many um, snip points here, you can either choose to make this um, kind of less decorative if you want, if you need a bigger open space, or indeed if you want to kind of have more of these little snowflakes as embellishments elsewhere on your project, you can simply multi-cut it and then snip those out. So lots and lots of reasons to love this set. Um, you get a sentiment with each of the dies. This one says, wishing you a Christmas filled with the warmth of family, friends and fun. Then this one, I uh, think, would tie up very nicely with your Bethlehem collection, wouldn't it? Because it's that road to um, Bethlehem once again. Oh, because the Silent Night would fit nicely in the centre of there. That you, you get the feeling it should, Ooh, don't you? I think you would. It's a big. I think it would. I think it would too. Yeah, big enough space there. But again, opportunities here. I mean, I see that little star there for a bit of paper piece, you maybe mm. with some of your gold mirror card stock or glitter card stock. Star of Wonder, Star of Night. Then you've got this one, which is your uh, home for Christmas, which is that sort of uh, snuggly um, lounge scene with the Christmas tree and the uh, Christmas, Christmas snail. decks up. <laughs> and the Christmas, the Christmas snail. It was uh, Philip who said it looked like a, a squirrel. Yeah. I think it looks a little bit like a cat as well, actually. But that's the whole thing. It can be whatever you want it to be, really. I like the little Christmas baubles as well that you've got in the corner there. Um, you have got the most wonderful time of the year is your stamped element. Then you've got your deck the halls with bows of honey. Um, this one again, if you like to do your colouring, uh, a little bit of paper piecing maybe. I think you've got a card over there which shows this um, mm. paper piece actually which we can have a look at in a second. Then you've got this uh, beautiful Christmas scene which is the dashing through the snow. Love that traditional sort of Christmas Eve scene really uh, with Father Christmas and the reindeer dashing here over the houses below just there. And then lastly in this set is your Merrily on High. Again, lots of opportunity for colouring, paper piecing in the holly and the ivy there. Those Christmas jingly bells in there too. And you've got your ding dong on there as well. Uh, ding, ding dong Merrily on High. Oh, we'll get the details up for this because that is not the price. The price is there. £36, $42.40 is the price you're paying. But when you consider you should be paying over £100, nearly $120, that is a steal. Uh, and you're over halfway to getting £15 off your basket total mm. with that code. I know. I mean, when you think of the amount of metal you're getting with all six of these steps, it's for set, sets, not steps. Yeah. So you've got this one here. So we're using the, um, the snowflake to act as a shaker. So all of them will work as shakers if you wanted to with having that lovely aperture. Now, what I love is you've got the outside and the inside dies are separate so we've used the two together just there this is one that I know Ben really yes. really loves looks amazing doesn't it just creating an inky mm -hmm. background I love this paper piece in one piece you don't have to paper piece it all we just paper piece that star yeah. to make it pop and I want to show you this one because you've got um, some colouring isn't that absolutely good so we've die cut it in silver and then paper pieced it into the white and coloured that and then just put some little gems on the um, streamers and then now this is what you were talking about so this was the one oh, where we have paper pieced in so we've cut use the outer die to create the card shape and then we've used the inner die as well on the gold to create the outline which we've then paper pieced but if paper pieces isn't for you, it's not everyone does. Um, Jackie's done this one where she's then coloured it. She's put it over white and then coloured it in on there. I'm trying to catch it because it's catching the light. Look really, really pretty. I do like this one. The dash, like you say, dashing through the snow. Looks gorgeous. You can see Santa across the top. Can you see? Just by having that gold behind. But look at how easy that is to achieve. Yeah. Just by putting some yellow behind really makes it pop. And then another one. Now, this one shows you how useful it is to have the inner and the outer die separate. 
So instead of having a small, thin border, we've been able to cut it to the size we want it to. And again, then paper pieced, paper pieced in the the um, straight the ribbon and also the holly down in that corner. I think that is so, so pretty. Absolutely, yeah, really lovely collection. Um, and a great price as well for all of that craftability. Six uh, piece collection, it's actually 12 dies because you get your outer die with all of the uh, detailed dies. And then your six stamps included in there as well. 36 pounds platinum, $42.40. Maybe as well with some of these collections, you're after some more uh, beautiful sentiments. That's where this next set comes in. Again, an absolute steal. Your Christmas fancy sentiment stamp and die set. Uh, it's a five piece collection, but you get 10 stamps and five dies here. And as we saw earlier on, um, I can't remember who it was who said they were having um, a few little problems uh, with the everyday collection of this. It's all about, isn't it, making sure that uh, you, well, it's up to you, but of course, if you don't want to worry about your, um, your stamp uh, slipping within your um, machine, what you can do, of course, is do your die cut and then stamp once you've got that perfect uh, background. Or who's to say that you have to actually use this? You might just want to stamp straight onto your card, but you don't have to use the base um, each and every time. It's entirely up to you. But uh, what you've got here is a lovely collection of stamps and dies to pop your sentiment, again, at the kind of heart of your card. So uh, believe in the magic of Christmas. Love, again, that sort of uh, cursive sort of a calligraphy effect that you've got on the main word and then the um, the capitalization of the words below gives us a really beautiful effect jingle all the way still my favorite Christmas movie that one uh, let it snow Merry Christmas and one for our US friends most definitely do you ever really say that happy holidays no, no I don't either but that can also relate I suppose to Thanksgiving. Would you say that's Thanksgiving in the Could be. It's a holiday. Yeah. Could it not be any of the holidays? So any. Could any it not holidays? be? Yeah. Well, you could, Nicola. Absolutely, you could be just going Ooh, on holidays. Oh, scrapbooking pages. Happy holidays. Oh, what? As in. Happy oh, times. Happy, these were your yeah. happy holidays. There you go. Just a few suggestions. Twelve pounds. Fifteen dollars twenty if you're platinum. Uh, Corinne's got some cards. I certainly have. So we've got our Believe, which is really lovely. Believe in the magic of Christmas. And this is what we were saying earlier. Yeah, they're now singing Share at us. It's, uh, what were they doing then? Share. Oh, yeah. do it again. Do I believe. missed it. <laughs> oh. Nicholas. I'm just so sad you can't hear that at home because it's yeah. like Cher has just joined in in the gallery. It is, it, it is. Mm. One day we'll have to take our earpiece out and put it next to a microphone. I could do that. Actually. And everybody will switch off probably. <laughs> and we go, oh, bless. <laughs> so, you know, but mix and match it with everything else that you've got. So, you know, we've used one of our paper pads, we've used an embossing folder, we've used our decoupage pads there. Now, Jingle All Right, I love this, completely different colour. So we've done some embossing and then sanded it back and a little bit of pink because, you know, not ev yeah, everybody has a different colour theme for Christmas. Uh, let it snow and again, bringing out those other ones. Is that watercolour Christmas? That is watercolour Christmas, yeah, yes. I thought we've got that coming was. up later. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love this Ooh. one. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. <laughs> that is a happy Christmas, isn't it? Merry, 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 merry. And then just bringing in your flowers at the end. Oh, I want to show you this because look at this. This is one of our edge balls. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Just to show you how, you know what I mean? Just look at what you've got and mix and match. And then finally, the last one we've got is our happy holidays. Beautiful. Very simple, but very effective, isn't it? Yeah, they don't have to be. Again, they're the focal point of your project. So, you know, use them to uh, really frame your projects. Absolutely. Uh, feel free as well. I know there are photos coming through. We're after um, a snowy pictures today to tie in with our Christmas and April theme. Uh, maybe you have. Did you say Rachel sent through a picture of her in a Christmas sweater? Oh, and Joe sent a picture. I'm appreciating that. We'll have a look at those very shortly. But also, if you want to send through any pictures of any projects you've made with any of these collections, uh, again, we'd love to form a little gallery uh, later on. I know Betty already sent in the picture earlier from the Watercolour Christmas with the, uh, the animals playing volleyball, which was a lot of fun. But feel free to fire your pictures in. Uh, I'm going to have a look next at your... Um, dies here which are the amazing uh, fancy dies these again intricate dies uh, bring you some wonderful 
um, or shape dies that then incorporate your sentiment within the intricacies of all of the, uh, the detail within each of the die cuts. 10 dies in total because once again, you'll get your inner detail die and you've got your outer uh, die there as well. So you've got your sort of uh, mats and layers, if you like, or your layer to be able to put your sentiment onto. Uh, 10 dies in total, £17.60 or $23.20 if you're a, a platinum member. Uh, and again, just look at these. Talk about uh, putting these at the focal point of your project. You've got your star of wonder, thinking, you know, maybe that cut in a bit of your glitter card or some of your uh, mirror card would look amazing. Jingle all the way. I think a lot of these would work really nicely with our, you know, our luxury card stock packs that we do, where you get some of the glitter card and the uh, mirror card and matte mirror. I had a great deal on those yesterday, by the way. It might still be live on the web. I'm not sure if it was, because I think it was a 24-hour deal, but worth having a look anyway. Um, they then, forget. They hey? forget. They forget, don't they? They do forget, don't they? They do yeah. forget, actually. So it is worth having a little bit of a look. Love this snowman here, the warm Christmas wishes. I mean, how clever is that? All of that detail there, the little snowman made up of your little swaddles and snowflakes and then you've got that sentiment um, in the centre of his little body there. Warm Christmas wishes. Then you've got this Christmas wreath, which is from our house to yours. Yeah, beautiful little bow. Whether you want to colour these in, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but a really nice uh, sentiment in the centre of that. And then this one I think is really clever too. The uh, wish you a Merry Christmas in the shape of a Christmas tree. Uh, that is a £50, $65 bundle that you're only paying £17.64 or $23.20 today, which is marvellous. And Corinne has got some finished samples. I certainly have. So I love this one. So the Star of Wonder. So it's as Ben was saying, we've got the glitter card on the background. We've done this in white and then paper piece the wording in. But then just use the background matte layer, cut, and, um, well, it's cut four times, isn't it, so that you've got the drop shadow, just to create that effect. And then again on here, using those sparkle pens, using your um, um, your um, encapsulated glitter. Yeah. And then um, that is just some of our um, pearlescent Centura Pearl in the middle there. Now this one, I'm impressed with this one. This is done by Lisa. What she's done, just she's paper pieced, but she's paper pieced all of it back in, right down to those smallest pieces. That's flush. You know when normally it's paper piece that yeah, stands yeah. up? <laughs> She, oh, you're right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, thanks very much. <laughs> so my voice just broke. I think it did. Live on air. <laughs> <gasps> but look at that. I mean, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> That is absolutely so um, impressive how well that has been paper pieced. I'm loving that. Then we've got our from um, our home to yours. That's cute. Now we've been talking a lot about having the gold as your um, your drop shadow. This one's got the white as the drop shadow, and I think that works really well. Just makes it pop. And then finally, this one has been done with pens. Actually, sorry, I just needed to check that. I won't show it the paper piece, but that is been done with pens. So we've overcolored the sentiment in the different lines. Really makes it stand out, doesn't it? So lots of different ways you can do that. Love what it. You're you spotting something. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I'm just looking at something which is coming up in a bit. It's ah. fine. I, yeah, it's fine. It's all good. <laughs> Uh, I'm just marvelling at the fact that my voice just broke live <laughs> on air. Uh, so those again, £17.60, $23.20. Think about, we've shown you how many sets so far. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, collections so far. Six sort of selections from collections. Uh, if you're loving potentially four, possibly five of those, that's probably your £60, £60 cart. That there is then you getting your £15, $15 off if you use that code, which is at the home page of the website. You can't miss it. It's right next to Craig dressed as a chicken. Uh, <laughs> so uh, get that code, pop it in at checkout and save yourself £15 or $15 when you spend £60 or $60. Right. We're going to have a short little break and we're going to give you opportunity to get your baskets checked out. We've still got, you haven't seen another one, two, three, four, five, at least another six items to bring to you. Uh, and then we'll recap on some of the most busiest. So uh, keep the comments coming through, any questions, anything you want to see, and also keep those pictures coming through too. We are most after uh, pictures of snow, uh, if it's snowing where you are today, to help us get in that.
Christmas spirit in the middle of April. Plus, if you are happening to wear a Christmas jumper, I'm going to go and see if I can dig out um, one of my jackets now. Uh, we'll have a look at all of your pictures, read some more of your comments and questions uh, when we come back in about four minutes time. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. We've got a double bill of great news for our US crafters. You will now pay less for delivery and your parcels will arrive in double quick time. Our team has joined forces with UPS to speed up the delivery of crafters companion orders across the USA. Order online with us and your crafting treats will arrive on your doorstep in just two to three business days. And shipping will cost just $9.95 so you can treat yourself to even more crafting goodies. So head over to the Crafters Companion website to place your order today. You'll be getting creative with all your treats in no time at all. I have to tell you, every single person works tirelessly uh, behind the scenes. And I can't just give a shout out to one person because for me, it has to be John, Tracy and Jake. I'm going to give a shout out to our backstage hero, and I'm actually going to say heroes. It has got to be our product coordination team. It's got to be. Because without those three people, when we're on air, we wouldn't be able to function like we do. They make sure we have everything we need, right from um, the samples to the product to uh, having a drink of water throughout the show. They really look after us. You see us day in, day out, seven days a week, live on TV. We're crafting away. We're hopefully inspiring you. Every single card, every single product, every single tool that we touch has come from product coordination. Those guys are the unsung hero. They're there making sure we have the products, we have the inks, we have the tools, we have everything that we need. We have the power to actually work our Gemini ranges. The smooth running of behind the scenes of Crafters TV is all down to our product coordination team. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. <laughs> One that was really funny, Ben. You didn't it was have better than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. Well, we'll Everybody's gone surfing, surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Welcome back, everybody. We were just talking about bingo in the break there because um, Charlotte went to the bingo yesterday with, uh, with Craig and we're just saying it's not, not how it used to be back in the day with the old daubers. 
You can, but she was saying that you uh, you can now do it where you just get like a tablet and it just checks it all off for you. Yeah. Where's the fun in that? The, surely the fun of the bingo is going like, oh, oh, I can't keep, oh, that, the fun of it is that, yeah. isn't it? You know. Just trying to scan to yeah. see if you've got number 17. Yeah. And then that whole jury then waiting to like go, hey, bingo! Yeah. Or housey, housey, isn't that what you shout? Housey, mm. housey. Or do you shout? Hey, bingo, yeah. Uh, we, when I, one um, holiday park I used to work on, there was one of the owners there, and whenever you used to get bingo, you used to shout yabba dabba do. I don't know why. Yabba dabba do! He did go when he got when he got. Wow! <laughs> they say, did you work for Fred Flintstone, Barney Rubble? <laughs> um, and the other question I want to ask about bingo is bingo as popular in the US as it is here in the UK? Do you have like your, your bingo halls, like your Mecca Bingo, and your, what's the other one we have here? Gala Bingo. Yeah. Well, I used to love a game of bingo back in the day. In your daubers. Did you win Charlotte last night? Are you won on the slots? Not the same. How much? 15 quid? Not bad. Not bad. And put 10 lottery tickets on. She said if she wins the lottery uh, tonight, uh, she's going to see that we're all made millionaires. Oh, that's nice of her. Yeah. Yeah, that's what she said. Even if she wins £5.30? Yes, if she wins £5.30, she'll have to take out a very big loan. <laughs> yes. Uh, Thank you, Betty. Nice vest. I, I thought I had Christmas jumpers in the cupboard, but I didn't. I had a jacket, uh, but I, I went for the vest. It's, uh, can you see this one? Candy canes. It's candy oh, canes. It's Father, it doesn't really go with the shirt, but if you just, look, there you go. It's uh, Father Christmas with his sack, uh, candy canes and trees. So there we go, in the Christmas spirit. Please pop on a Christmas jumper or vest if you're watching right now and send in pics. We want to do a gallery, uh, but we, we haven't got enough pictures so far uh, to make the gallery worthwhile. So put some uh, pictures our way, please. Christmas makes, Christmas jumpers, Christmas snow. Yes, it's Christmas, says Alcha de Vries. It, well, it's, it is sort of Christmas, but not really Christmas. We're still 200 and, what did you say it was? 64 days yep. away. Uh, and we've just been told we've got a, uh, a picture of a Christmas dog come through. Well, so I should I send them a picture of Elsie in her Christmas job? Do it I'll now, do that please. in a minute. Do it now. OK. Oh, I've got some pictures on, of Mac and Molly with Christmas. Right. I tell you what, I'll do this. You send yours now. And okay. then when you do the samples, You'll I'll do send yours. mine. Where do I send it? Um, you can use studio studio at crafterscompanions.co.uk or you could probably just whatsapp it to Nicola and she'll probably just put okay, it okay whatsapp it to Nicola right okay I'll find it is that easy or harder for you Nicola that's fine I'll do that tis the season this again was a lovely collection last year launched very popular and again very different to what you've seen in the other collections that we brought to you it's a selection of the collection once again 74.93 or 92.73 but you're paying 41.93 today or 51.73 that is a saving of 55 percent less another 20 of pure platinum look at the beautiful dies you're going to get here that's stunning really lovely uh die to be paper piecing to be coloring at your festive friend that one in fact i did a craft along with craig with this collection and uh he and i uh colored this one in using the tri blend pens it was the first time that i'd used those um at the back end of last year had the best time and it was nice and easy to do of course because you had um all of the detail of the lines there so if you're someone like me a little bit clumsy you couldn't go out of the lines uh, because they were all there in die form for you you then got that yuletide frame i mean th this again is brilliant for the fact that uh, yes it's going to work with this collection however you think about all of the other collections that you've got within this show christmas wise uh, you've got lots of ability to be able to cross over sentiments and images that you can use um, within that set uh, you've then got your uh, robin redbreast again how gorgeous is this you want a quick easy card boom you've got it right there create a card paper piecing coloring whether you want that um, cut out as a panel to pop onto um, you know a different shape card maybe in a scrapbook page or however you want to do it that again is such a detailed beautiful die i mean imagine doing a bit of paper piecing here paper piecing these flowers as well absolutely gorgeous and then the collection is finished off with, um, well, multiple stamp and uh, die sets here. So you've got the wonderful time of the year where you've got that beautiful um, set of 
mistletoe and then the little uh, Christmas cones there. Two little sentiments to go with that and then the die to be able to cut out your coloured image. Then you've got this, which is your Christmas blessing, which is a beautiful uh, table setting with the candles. Again, <coughs> that there is going to cut out your beautiful image, which you'll have coloured in. Christmas blessings to you and yours is just one of the sentiments that you get. You've then got the beautiful uh, wreath here, which is heaven and nature sing with the Christmas robin. Um, again, you can um, just stamp that out if you want. If you want to use the die in conjunction with it, not only have you got the outer die, uh, but the inner die to be able to cut that aperture so that you can pop your sentiments in there as well. And then the cardinal features in this too. If you remember, we had the robins and then the red cardinals uh, who featured heavily in this collection. I'm glad that we've got that uh, Holiday Wishes set too, which incorporates that beautiful cardinal looking at the Christmas lantern amongst all of the Christmas sprigs and then some sentiments there saying, wishing you peace, love and joy this holiday season. And may the holidays fill your home with joy. All of that, 23 stamps, eight dies, uh, one cut and embossed folder for £26.40 or 32 80 is an incredible deal and you've got some finished... It is, that is really, really good value, isn't it? So, yeah, using that cardinal, which is absolutely beautiful in there, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Again, it's another one that you can um, use your pens with and then we have... Um, we've got to stop. There. This one, this whole collection. All oh, right, sorry. Don't scream and shout. Tis the season not to be oh. jolly. It's sold out. That right. was quick. It was. Wasn't it? Yeah. We're confusing uh, Margot. She's just logged on and she's just seen your top, Ben. See me what? Your top, your oh. waistcoat. Uh, conf Margot. She's confused. What are you wearing, Ben? Lol. Uh, it's me Christmas vests, as you guys would call it, because uh, we're doing a Christmas craft vault, so we said let's get all Christmas up. So it doesn't really work. I've got my US shirt on and then Christmas vest, because it's Christmas craft vault, so that's why. Cute vest, says Mary Beth Dorr. The Santa is adorable. Uh, thank you. Uh, Shadai says, oh, yes, I think that bingo is huge in America. My oldest cousin lives, eats and breathes at the bingo hall. So there you go. It's, ma it's still massive over here, bingo. Everyone loves a bit of bingo. Bit of housey housey. Yabba dabba do. Uh, right, nesting dies. Now this collection is gorgeous and this deal is incredible. £27.20, $31.20. If you love your uh, beautiful frames, then you're gonna love this set. Um, and actually, do you know what, again, if show you this one, uh, for instance, which is the uh, festive favorite uh, sparkling snowflakes. Just cut all of those in one pass. You've got the be beautiful front for a card right there, haven't you? Adding on a little um, sentiment, boom, absolutely perfectly, that is done. Or alternatively, use smaller elements of this, use the outside frame and take out the inner elements and maybe use that as a shaker, uh, maybe pop in elements from other collections. There's so many things that you can do with this set, but what you've got to love about it, A, the price, by the way, not £86 or $98, that price just there, uh, but also the versatility and the design that you've got here. Look at that, all of the snowflakes and all of the swirls and all of the stars that you've got um, cut into the metal. You've then got your beautiful bauble, same here once again. I love the fact that you know we don't even finish with the, uh, the frame and then the two smaller frames. We then give you the embellishments of those Christmas baubles, those decorations uh, to use with this collection. You've got squares, you've got um, rectangles in this set, you've got some of the bigger sort of squares, you've got um, one I'll show you in a second or a couple in a second which you can use for your more slimline projects. How gorgeous is that one? Your Yuletide Bloom. Once again, could have just finished by giving you uh, the three frames there, but then we give you that extra element for even further decoration. This one is the uh, festive foliage. Can you believe you're getting all of this, all of that detailed die cutting for an absolutely incredible price? And then we give you your two sort of uh, slim line or like sort of taller rectangular dies, if you like. This one is called your Starry Night. Um, so again, whether you go that way, whether you go that way, it's going to look beautiful. And then you have the last one, which is your holly and berries. So rectangle, square, uh, whether you use individual elements of these, just the outer frame, just the inner detail to pop on uh, for your sentiments. Lots of things you can do with your nesting dies and some of the most um, detailed nesting dies I think that we've done. Pick these up because that is a steal. 24 dies for £27. I know. 
when you think of that, when you look at that and you're looking at something that's going to give you that effect, all of those layers, look at the green, then the red, then the green, then somewhere to put your sentiment, you're getting all of that for £4.50. Yeah. Absolutely amazing, amazing value. Really beautiful. So there's the first one. I think that's so, they're so elegant and so classy. And then what you can do is you can use your um, other dice. We just used our circle nesting die to cut out that aperture so that we've created that effect there. And again, really, really beautiful. Then you've got the other shape, the more elongated shape, the sort of four by six or there you go. You can have it as, um, oh, a nesting die. I've got, ah, I thought one of my cards looked a little bit empty. The uh, <laughs> the sentiment oh. of a different card. I was thinking, this card hasn't been finished. Fancy putting that in the box. It's not finished. And that's because it's got stuck on there. I shall sort that in a minute. Now, I wanted to show you this. This is really beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, going with those different colours for Christmas. But using those nesting dies to create that shaker card. Now, that... And this are the same die set. But look at how different it is. By building it up differently, you get a completely different look. I had to look at that twice to work out that it was exactly the same die set. And then you've got those tall sort of DL ones, the elongated. Even better if I put it the right way up. You can put those that way or you can have them. They look lovely as sort of steppers of yeah. that direction. And then... Oh, what's this one? Wow, this one? Ah, that one's going through there. So that looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving that. Oops, let me get that to stand up. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. So you've got your long ones, you've got your shorter ones, or you've got your square, square ones, square ones too. Yeah. It's a really lovely way to use them. Yeah. Brilliant value. Absolutely brilliant value. Lots of metal for your money there. £27.20, $31.20. Loads of love for those nesting dies. Uh, those are really pretty nesting dies, says Eleanor Jones. Pretty and uh, easy on the pocket today as well. I know, as I said this earlier, you might not have come in today thinking, I'm going to do some Christmas shopping in the middle of April, but now can you resist? Now when we've got these prices, now when you've got that extra uh little code on the website it's there front page spend 60 save 15. um i do have these dies says paul prince transport and they are lovely and i love these nesting dies i don't have them i must check what is left in my craft budget says mary reno well those nesting dies 27 pounds 20 today 31 20. Uh, i think it's a great buy when you consider what you would be paying and what you probably will be paying if you come to pick these up uh, if we've still got them in stock when we launch our Christmas event, which will be later in the year. Uh, I leave these in my regular collection because some can be used year round as well. Do you know what, Paul Prince? I nearly said that. There are some of those uh, which you can use um, just as a beautiful decorative uh, regular die right throughout the year as well. All right, next up, your uh, Christmas 3D scene builder stamp and die collection. This again is just brilliant. If you love to create um, your cards and projects and boxes and things like your diorama cards and your theatre cards that have that 3D effect, then this set is absolutely perfect because not only do you get all of the dies to be able to do that, but we then give you the little um, the tabs here as well so that you can build up your scenes nice and easily where you can um, create your almost like 3D cards and like pop-up box effects as well. You get all the stamps, you get all the dies. This is an 89, nearly 90 pound, nearly $100 bundle that you get today for 32 pounds or 39.20. And if you like the last collection of nesting dies and you like this collection, pop them both into your basket. That will see you over your 60 pound uh, threshold. If you're platinum, you're there or thereabouts, give or take a couple of quid. Uh, and you can then use your code, which is on the home page of the website, to save yourself an extra £15. But again, you've got three different scenes here. So this one, uh, very much that beautiful sort of homely Christmas scene. And you can see that you've got um, stamps and dies that you can use individually of themselves as well. If you just want a really nice um, stamp scene, you know, building up the little Christmas forest in the background with the little Christmas cottage there and some snowfall. Build your own backgrounds with these as well. Multi-stamp that to create a lovely background. You can. But then, of course, you've got all of the um, dies as well which you can cut uh, to create uh, these wonderful scenes that tab there is like your uh, your little tab where you can build up all of the scenes with you've got your fence you've got your trees in different sizes so you can create the foreground and the mid ground you've got your little sprigs in there I mean there's so much that you can do 
uh, to create those gorgeous scenes. This one, again, I love, love, love the scenes where we have Father Christmas flying over the uh, skies um, on Christmas Eve. Here again, so many different components to build up that 3D effect. Love the fact that once again, you know, we give you lots as far as the stamps are concerned. Make your own beautiful backgrounds with the little snow flurry stamp set that you've got there. How cute is that too? The little mini dies that create the little stars that you can pop in the sky. The moon and the reindeer and the little clouds included in there too, of course, amongst all of your scenery. And then lastly in this set, I don't really remember this set. I really, really like it though now. The little Christmas grotto. Um, which again, I think is super cute. Nicola just said it might have been, um, no? Maybe it was on my, one of my many holidays from last year, Nicola. That's probably more likely what it was. Uh, but again, all the uh, different elements here to build up Santa's grotto. Uh, there's the big man himself. Um, is that a hammock there? Oh, is it a ribbon? I thought it was a little hammock for the elf to, 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 to sleep in. A little sash bunting -y situation, apparently. Um, you've got the more bows and the little presents there. North Pole, Santa's Grotto. Again, love that effect, the wood effect. Again, great for creating your own little backgrounds with. And then all the dies to be able to cut out all of those elements as well. Um, absolutely lovely collection. It is 75 dies and 38 stamps in total for a really, really low price. And... You've got some finished samples. I certainly have. Right. I've, I'm, I, normally, I just sort of show you a couple, but I wanted to show you all of these because the different ways to use them. Look at this one. Absolutely. Really simple if you wanted to. Yeah, you've got the, the black on there, but how easy would that be to sort of put the yellow behind here to do the windows? You've got that one. Now, look at this. Look at this. Christina's made this. Isn't that... Look at the diorama card. Look at look at that. How many times has she cut those scenes? That is incredible. I don't know. Uh, three, nine, about 25, 30 times. Incredible. Worth the effort. Absolutely amazing. And just putting that, that yellow behind to make them light, look lit up. So it's just a case of building them up. There's nothing particularly complicated. It's just the time. And then we've got this one here, another one she's made. Ooh. Again, she's really enjoyed this collection, hasn't she? But look at that. Look at how much depth there is in there. Absolutely brilliant. So that's the one with them over the um, chimney tops. Then you've got... This lovely little Clever. one with the cottage through the gate. I love the colourways of that. Really yeah. a little bit different, isn't it? Then we've got them as just a front open card. So although these have been designed to probably go onto zigzag cards, you'll see, actually, this is the first zigzag card here that I'm going to show you. Yeah. So, you know... the. That the the name I was looking for, because I said it's like a, a 3D card, but then the element of almost like a pop-up yeah. box as well. Yeah, it's a zigzag card, so it works really, really well. And again, another one, Santa's Grotto. Looks lovely. I love this one. Look at that. Look Aww. at the detail. Now, is that using the wood panelling yeah, stamp? it will be. How effective is that? So you think to yourself, oh, I've not got backing papers. Make your own. Yeah. There's your scarf look or whatever you thought it was. Hammock. Hammock. Hammock, and then change the colours completely, and we can have an icy blue one. But it's just they're so much fun, aren't they? And so easy to put together. You know, stamp them out, die cut the the stamped images, and just get colouring because you're going to have so so much fun. Love yeah. it again. Bang for buck. Uh, an amazing price. Thirty-two pounds, thirty-nine dollars twenty. How many photos we've got in the gallery now? I've got a few Ooh. in the gallery. Did you send your pictures? I did, just one. I, I had to I... send it to the gallery. It wouldn't do WhatsApp. Wouldn't just it? kept closing down WhatsApp every time I press send. I sent a few. We've got some really cute pictures coming up. Uh, oh, I can see Rachel's picture as well that she sent. Uh, we've got a great gallery coming up. We'll do that just before a break um, in a little bit. Um, word edibles, word. Uh, this is a three die selection. The price here, are you joking me? £8.80 or $10.40 is the price here incredible value for money uh, where well basically in one fell swoop one pass through your machine you have created a really beautiful card or maybe the top of a card or maybe uh, a component as part of a box or maybe you want to um, snip uh, this and then have it as a uh, piece of a scrapbook page home decor piece it's entirely up to you but what you do get again is a wonderfully detailed uh, greetings uh, in three different forms so you've got your seasons greetings 
you have got the uh, peace on earth. And then you've also got uh, the warm winter wishes. So lots of detailing in these, lots and lots of uh, easy ways to be able to use them. Maybe you want to colour the top half when it cuts out here, do a bit of paper piecing here. It's entirely up to you. But £8.80 or $10.40 for all of those is an incredible buy um, if you want to jump in and grab those. Next. Oh, yes. Watercolour Christmas. Oh, this is a little mini collection. This is a mini one. Uh, well, you've got a four... Look at the price. It's three sets. What you lost? I've only got two. you only got two? Two sets. Four-piece selection. I've, I've got... got three. <laughs> what you got? Have I got? I've got Magical Christmas. Right. Which is the one with the lovely little reindeer on. Yeah. Then I've got the Christmas trees. Yeah. Yeah. I've got those trees, yeah. And then I've got the snow... He's repeated. He's, he's shown there twice, look. Uh, the snowman's sold out. Oh, the trees have repeated twice. That's what it'll be. So it's a two-piece set, not a four-piece set. So you right. actually, So I am right with what I've got. You've got your stamps here. Um, and then you've got your Christmas trees. So that is right. £9.60 for the stamp set and then the Christmas trees as well. So this one does include... If you saw Betty's card from earlier on, um, it does include the uh, little rabbit and the little fox playing volleyball together. Um, so those are the stamps you're going to get. Little Christmas tree, rabbit, bauble, cute little hand-drawn heart there. I really love that. You've got the mummy deer and then the presents in there as well with a couple of sentiments. And then you've got the quirky Christmas trees. And again, those are super cute. I can imagine, actually, um, you could use some of those with the... Um, the 3D scenes that we Oh, you're going to be able to really use those all the time. They're yeah. just going to work. I'm, I can see those with uh, um, Frosty and Bright. You know, I could see them in so many of them, really. Oh, Builder Snowman hasn't sold out. Right. Oh. They're not... You've got it somewhere, the Builder Snowman. You can't see it. I'll show you what you've got. So Builder Snowman is really, really clever. So you can see he's there. Look, can you see? You build up the elements. And then you've got the Christmas trees. You've got that look at the little bunny rabbit on his sledge. Then you've got something really, really vintage in there. I've, I just love this. I love the look of that. So, so pretty. And then, you know, make it into a storybook. You've got, again, Aww. look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? It's got a really lovely feel about mm. this. And then, what, is it, is it a Scandi feel? Is that Scandi, what I'm thinking? yeah, definitely yeah, Scandi. Really, really lovely. And then if you do want to use the snowman, again, you know, we've seen sentiments, mix and match your sentiments from your other collections. You could even have one of those nesting frames, those Christmas nesting frames. This is really clever. A little bit of acetate over the front. Look at that in there. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And look at the price. Mad. Absolutely mad. It is mad. Um, I'll show you. I have got the, the, the snowman board now, actually. Uh, so that is your, do you want to build a snowman? Uh, there he is. Who said no? Um, so there you go. All of the elements there should be able to stamp out your snowman, colour him in, and then you can die cut him as well. So snowman you definitely get. You get your trees as well, those quirky Christmas trees. And then you get that stamp set that I showed you a few moments ago. So it's actually a three-piece collection. But, I mean, come on. I mean, that's loads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two-piece set for nine pounds wow. sixty, eleven dollars twenty. That is a wow. That is a damn moment. Um, grab that one. And then one final set to show you. And then I think we've pretty much covered everything on your uh, craft vault. Uh, and we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a look at the gallery and uh, give you time to check out. And I want to know who's bought what, please. What have you bought in this show? Let me know. Um, you could kind of use one of the trees as a character, these be. You could use one of the trees as a carrot. That is a great shout. Or an arrow, says Nicola. Oh, like that bit you could use, like the, uh, the feathers at the back of an arrow. You could do that. Or a car wash. A car 
car wash? Yeah. Wow. Because those are like the brushes, aren't they? They the are, wash. yeah. I love the car wash. Ah, you hate the car wash, Charlotte, do you? That's quite strong, isn't it? What? Quite strong, hates the car wash. Yeah, I love the car wash. I, it was always a bit of a treat for me when I was a kid, bizarrely. My dad taking me to the car wash. Um, first thing that Nicola did when she bought her first car, go to the car wash, apparently. Yeah, I love them. Love them. Anyway, uh, Rhonda sent in a pic. Got it. Uh, an EB. Oh, yes, you could use the trees as a carrot. Christina's cards are awesome, says Paul Prince times four. And Lillian Kwok says, Hi, Ben. Hi, Corin. I typed at the start of the show and I just saw that I hadn't hit the send button. Well, that's all right. 71 minutes in, you can say hi whenever you like. You come, come and join us whenever you like in the show, it's fine. Now, uh, final set to show you, uh, and again, this is an incredible buy. We've done some great deals. If you are not yet ready and raring to go for Christmas 2023 after this show, oh dear, I mean, we can't help you. Uh, £16.80 or $20.80 for your intricate doily dies. Um, and take a look at everything that you are going to be getting here um, in this set, your regal snowflake. I think with these as well, um, plenty of snippability. Because look at that as a snowflake, but actually if you snipped into that a little bit further, you could almost create like a floral element out of that. You could. You? I love the sort of big snowflake in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, um, I like that one. And, but then again, like you say, if you, if you wanted to just snip into these, you mm. absolutely could do. This one is, um, what's that one called? Your mandala star. So not necessarily Christmassy, that is it, really? No. Nice to colour in. Then you've got this one here, which is, oh, they're all upside down. That one is your lace edge star. How can I tell they're upside down? Because the names of them are written on the back and the names are upside down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then you've got the elegant snowflakes. That's the right way up. I don't think, as much as these, you can look at these and use these at Christmas time. I don't think any of them, save the snowflake we've seen so far, that you, you couldn't use these to decorate up year round. No. There's nothing too Christmassy about that, is there? Not um, at all. Opulent snowflake. I mean, maybe that one is. Oh, I remember this one because I like that one because the fact that you've got, again, snippability. Uh, you have got the little bells in there. But yes, uh, Nicola, again, that could be used on some sort of like seafaring project because it could be a little compass as well. Hey, well, you might make a little card for somebody who lives by the sea, who's going on holiday. Oh, sorry, they're just looking in here. We're doing a Christmas craft fault. That's why I've got my waistcoat on for Christmas. That's why I've got this on. Christmas craft fault? Yes. So that's why I put my Christmas... Don't sing. You're not allowed to sing the songs, Brent. <laughs> Out you go. Now they're singing the Carol of the Bells. Uh, and then you've got your frosted star in there as well. £16.80, $20.80 is the price here. <laughs> I think we've got that in our ears. Should we have a look? Have you got some yeah. samples? I have, I've not got one for the frosted star. I've been looking. I haven't got one on the frosted star. But absolutely gorgeous. This is the elegant snowflake. Look at that dangling. I just think they look beautiful in an aperture really simple white card little bit of ink around here build them up and you have got you know sort of your chipboard elements or how about there we go how about sort of twisting them so that it look you know you create even more points i think this one is so pretty um, that marie has done just using seafaring um, card looks Pardon. very seafary yes it does yes i can see that you're talking sort of um M north south east yeah. west compass, compass that's the word compass seafaring yeah. compass is what we were looking for there we go look at that one just white really pretty now i love this i had to show you this look at this one 3d it by put, sticking them back to back score down the middle and stick them back to back. So you could again make decorations with these? Yeah, these would be make, make brilliant baubles. How about cutting them out of black and using your gilding wax? That's yeah. really effective, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And if you like plaid paper, that's all I'm saying, stay tuned. Plaid paper? Plaid what, paper. What, what are you talking about? Plaid, plaid, plaid paper? Plaid paper. We all like plaid paper. We do. There we go. Look next at that. Week. Now, I love this. Tuesday. To give Tuesday. Next okay. week. Tuesday next week. Look at this one. Um, using it to... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. 
sorry, I'm going the wrong direction. It's always backwards. To make it look like an embossed background, I've got two more to show you. And then, again, twisted, just, you know, changing your colours. Maybe not traditional um, Christmas colours, but really works. Oh, and love, I love that. that one. Look at that. Are fantastic. One on top of the other. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Really lovely collection. And for £16.80 or $20.80, it's just too good to be missed. It is. And again, we pretty much covered off there in the first hour and 15 minutes everything as far as the Christmas craft vault is concerned. So, see what you like. Get it in your basket. If your basket total is more than 60, which I would imagine it probably is because there's been so many great deals, then use that code. It is on the home page of the website next to the picture of Craig dressed as a chicken. <laughs> it, um, basically, you spend 16, you get 15 off with the code. It's their home page. Uh, what did I say? Spend 16? Spend 60. 60. Uh, six zero. Get 15 off. Imagine if you spent 16 and got 15 off. That would be incredible. That would be good, wouldn't it? wouldn't it? I mean, 60 get 15 is great, but 16 get 15, that would be redonk. Uh, but the details are there. Check the homepage of the website. Uh, before we have a quick little break, uh, we have got a fabulous Christmassy gallery. We could do with some Christmas music to go along with this, really, couldn't we? Is that our Rachel? What's on the, what's on the jumper there? Dabbing through the snow. Is the dab still quite a popular thing to do or not really? I don't know. I still dab. Is that, is, and is that today as well, Rachel? Is You're that wearing like now? that today, Rachel. Let us know, Rachel, but thank you for putting on. I hope it is today because now I feel like, you know, you've taken part in the show with me uh, putting on a Christmas outfit. Joe Holt, sir. Wow, that is today, isn't it? Because I remember you saying, Joe, that you sent in a picture. Where are you again, Joe? Wow. Can you get any details as to where Joe is today? Looks beautiful, looks beautiful, but I don't want to be there. Why? I do not like snow. You don't like snow? No. Why do you not like snow? Because you can break your legs. Because it can what? Break your legs. What? Snow can break your legs? I broke my legs skiing. I don't like snow. Oh, well, don't, snow, don't ski then. Just walk in it. <laughs> no. You don't have to put skis on when it snows. Uh, oh, oh, Rosalind. No. Look at the, oh, I like the snow, but has your dog got little snow boots on? He oh, has literally got shoes on. Oh, brilliant. That is brilliant. I don't think Elsie would stand, I think shoes would be a step too far for Elsie. Ah, oh, I, I think, would R2 put shoes on? Probably not now. Um, but that is brilliant. What a cute picture. What, Rosalind, what's the name of your dog? You'll have to let us know. Um, Evelyn Kiefer, is that? I take it that's today, a bit that's of snow today. What's the dog wow. called? Evelyn's in Colorado. The dog is called... Oh, two dogs, Ralph and Rosie. Super wow. cute. Just a smattering of snow you've got there, Evelyn, in, um, in Colorado. Rosalind, however... Wow. wow. Where is she? Rosalind is in... I do know that, but it's not coming to my mind quick enough. Uh, Joe Holt says... Uh, in the Black Hills of South Dakota. That's where her picture is from. <gasps> Rosalind Russell is in... Mm, I can't remember where you are, Rosalind. But wherever you are, it's snowy. It is snowy. Um, Ooh, next up. Look at this, Karen. Oh, like look! This. Who's this, Karen? That's Murphy. Murphy. In his Christmas jumper that Karen crocheted for him. Wow, that is brilliant. Does he look happy? I think he does. Oh, he is not impressed, says Karen. What about this little tyke? It's Molly! Is that Molly? Molly Mosby, yeah. That was last Christmas. Um, she's, yeah, she was pretty much up for... She kept her antlers on longer than Mac did. Uh, he, here's Mac. He's, as you can tell from his expression. They're coming off. Yeah, I mean, they, they got poured off, I think, a couple of seconds later. That's a bit like, Dad, what have you put it on my head for? That kind of look. And then in the next picture, Molly got her first Christmas jumper last year. Not that impressed with that one, I don't think. It's supposed that she's got little reindeer antlers there. You see Max in the background there, he's just collapsed. And there's the two of them with their Christmas jumpers. Bless them. Hey, How cute. They are. Those two. Um, and then one final card. Oh, I sent it. Where's yours, Corin? I sent it to the studio. Oh. What was yours a picture of? Elsie. Oh, in the Christmas jacket, jumper? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll check, it's gone. OK. Well, maybe we can show it after the break. Thank you, Rhonda. Gorgeous card as well. And thank you for all of these, everybody. Uh, really enjoyed 
uh, looking at the pictures. It's gone, is it? Mm, studio yeah. Crafters Companion, yeah, it went. All right. Well, we'll Never see if mind. we can find it and maybe show it after a short break. Uh, Mary Rena says, adorable, Karen and Ben. Um, thank you for all of those uh, lovely pictures. Let us take a short little break. We are going to give you opportunity to get your baskets checked out right now. Uh, and when we come back, we'll look at some of the hottest deals on a Christmassy craft bowl in the middle of April, can you believe? Um, get to the checkouts. Use that code if you spent 60. And we'll come back in about three or four minutes. Our craft experts come from all over the UK to HQ up in the northeast, and here they are telling you a little bit about where they're from and what it's famous for. So I'm from a beautiful town called Carnoustie. So many people may recognise the town as a golfing town, famous golfing town. We get lots of big golfing events. I can't say that I'm a golfer myself, uh, but we do get a lot of uh, the celebs, golfers, musicians, actors, all of these turning up at the town. For those that aren't into golfing, what I would tend to say is it's sandwiched in between our broth and Dundee, so we are quite far up. Um, I love my town, I love where I am now, however, I will say one of the main things that I miss about my hometown, apart from my family and friends, of course, have to say that, otherwise they're going to watch this and be like, where's our mention? It is, of course, the beach. You know, we're right on the, the River Tay. We've got the gorgeous beach, the sand and the sea. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the one thing that I always make a beeline for as soon as I arrive back home for a little visit. I was brought up in Colnbrick, which is a little village um, near Slough, so it's not very exciting. Um, but we do have the third oldest pub um, in the whole of the UK there. And it's where the Cox's Pippin apple was first invented or first discovered. Um, but I moved to Chiswick in West London about 25 years ago, and I've lived there ever since. And I love it. It's full of, I wouldn't necessarily say celebrities, but TV stars. Um, so it's quite good for celebrity spotting when you're having a cocktail on the high road. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in you know we see the same same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family
Welcome back everybody, uh, what time is it? 3.25 here in the UK, so that makes it what, 10.25 Eastern, 7.25 Pacific. Thank you for joining us. Uh, in case you have just woken up, you're thinking, have I missed the whole year? Is it Christmas? No. Have I slept for 260 days? No. We're just doing a Christmas craft vault because you know what we thought would be might be a good time to get out some of these deals and give you the opportunity to uh, get yourself ready not necessarily you're buying because you're going to start christmas crafting next week but you've got all of these goodies to choose from at smash down low prices which potentially we wouldn't offer uh, later on in the year so you can pick up the deals today get them sent home pop them away for when you start doing your Christmas crafting. And worth bearing in mind today as well that if you do spend over 60, you've got that code on the front page of the website where you can save an extra 15 pounds. Uh, right, we're just gonna recap on some of the best deals of the show so far in the final half hour. Uh, did you get your picture sent through in the end then or not? No? Oh, I've sent it and it says mm. it's sent. Mm. It's a long way to send from here to the gallery, isn't it? It's probably just got They've lost come from America there. quicker than I can send it. 20 yards yeah yeah uh mary reno enjoyed that she says great pictures i love the snow well if you love the snow you'll love this collection not that it's real snow faux snow uh and the frosty and bright six piece selection it's a selection of the collection that we had uh the majority of these are uh, and that is kind of reflected in the price. Well, I say it's reflected in the price. This bundle should be costing you over £45, over $57. Look at the price on screen if you're platinum. £12.80 or $16 in this bundle from last year. You get your faux snow. 50 grams of that, which you can use to uh, decorate, which you can use uh, as uh, shaker elements in your cards. You're getting the most gorgeous Christmas tree die as well. Um, calling that one a die bread because it is part creator card part edgeable, uh, all absolutely stunning. So much detail um, you're getting within that. And then you've got all of these cute little edgeables as well, where you've got uh, part of the Christmas message cut into your cardstock and part of your Christmas message cut out onto the top. So we uh, wish you merry and bright. You've then got your happy Christmas. And this one, which we love, which will be used, I think, for lots of different events, not just Christmas, it's happy holidays. And then you're also going to get your uh, Christmas, Merry Christmas stamp and die set. Uh, you've got that beautiful uh, sort of cursive font there in the uh, Christmas, just down the bottom in the die form. And then all of these other stamps for you to be able to build up your own particular sentiment uh, for whatever you want it to be for. So all of those stamps, nine in fact, six dies, and your 50 grams of faux snow uh, for that incredibly low price at the bottom of your screen. Um, and you've got some cards mm. to show. I mean, 50 grams of faux snow is a lot of faux snow, isn't it? Because it's so, so light. So, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, we've got dies that are going to do edge balls that are going to cut into and out of your cardstock. You can then do them as like a belly band going round. And you've also got them over the top. And I love this one, this effect to create the frame. So oh, wow. just put it on four sides. We've got the gorgeous Christmas tree. And uh, the difference here is we've not used the edge of die on here so that it sits on there. And we have on here so that it cuts out. And as I showed you earlier, there's this lovely one using our gilding flakes. So is this... Is there a bigger bundle of this as well? There is a bigger bundle of this. Mm -hmm. uh, we can show you the still of that on screen. Let's have a look at the picture here. So this one, uh, well, is £28 or $36. What you get extra in here, uh, well, you get you get quite a bit more, actually. You've got ribbon in there. Uh, you've got another set a of... A reef building um, one. Yeah, the reef building one is included. You've also got your decorative baubles in there. Uh, plus, you've got all of those uh, wonderful snowflakes, five of those, and you get that... Uh, frame two plus and there's, and there's an embossing folder the, yeah the 3d embossing folder, folder with the yeah. christmas tree on so you've got the design it's, it's similar to the, the design of what you've got in the christmas tree die uh, but that is uh, everything uh, that you're going to get if you go for the bigger collection carol says is it 15 percent off just craft box no it's 15 pounds or dollars off it's not 15 percent 15 pounds or dollars off when you spend 60 site-wide not just on this show Standard T's and C's apply. For si what? Off 60. I said 60. Did I say 16 again? No, you said 60. Ah. Nicola, off 60. All the details are on the website. If you go to the homepage, 
it's there. Check out the picture of Craig dressed as a chicken. Next, vintage snowman. This again is incredible. The value here is quite simply, we're practically giving Christmas away today. Um, get sorted. I know I keep saying it, you won't have woken up this morning thinking I'll do some Christmas shopping, but how can you leave these deals behind uh, when you're seeing the prices that we're doing today? And so many of you have shopped already. Uh, saw some comments coming through earlier on actually from the likes of Charlotte, who's got the, uh, the um, intricate Dory collection. It says intimate Dory collection there. Uh, the intricate Dory collection, the fancy Christmas sentiment, and topped it off with some glue and a couple of embossing folders. Nice. Perfect. Dan Davis says, I'm excited for my first Christmas stamps and dies. I ordered myself the vintage snowman selection and the intricate sentiment die selection too. What else have you guys ordered? Let me know. Um, like um, die, you can get the vintage snowman selection of the collection here. Really lovely this. Uh, and well, it's all in the name really, vintage and all about the snowmen. It's often Father Christmas, isn't it, is the forefront of your uh, Christmas collections, but here it's all about the snowman and snowwoman. Stamps have and dies here. Have we seen a, a, a Santa in this? Apart from the silhouette going above the sky, I don't think we have, have we? He's in the, um, the 3D scene set, the scene ah. builders, he's in there. But I mean, you know, Christmas, you expect Santa Claus to be the main guy, don't you? Yeah. Normally the snowman's a bit of a bit part. Yeah. If it was like a, if it was a movie, the snowman would be, like, it would be Father Christmas across the top, wouldn't it? And then it'd be also starring yeah. Snowman, featuring Snowman. Yeah. But here it's Snowman. No sign of Father Christmas. Well, they've nicked his sleigh here, haven't they? <laughs> uh, they've stolen his sleigh. It's like, this is all about us. This is all about us. Uh, we've got the sleigh. That's the line in the Witch in the Wardrobe sleigh, isn't it? Going through Narnia, uh, where yeah. he sits and eats the Turkish delight with the Snow Queen. Oh, sorry, the stamps card. Do you know what? It's been so long since I've um, seen uh, Is it? Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe. Is that part, that's one story within the Chronicles of Narnia, isn't it? Yes, Chronicles of Narnia is six books. And you've got the Silver Prince and... Line the Witch in the Wardrobe and all the rest Prince of them. Caspian, yeah. Caspian. Yeah, or was it Prince Caspian, not Silver Prince? Yeah, there's, there's six and I don't, can't remember them all, but yeah. Mm. Is there a movie then? Like, is there a series of movies? Oh, there's only one movie. I think they've only... They might have done two. They've done two. Yeah. Mm. There you go, yeah. Sorry. Just how did we get... What was, how did we get talking about Narnia? Because oh, the it sleigh. was the sleigh. Yes, Turkish Delight. <gasps> Snowmen. Stamps and dies. Then uh, you've got this one here, which is your oh, Christmas tree, because he's, um, he's caroling that little um, snowman. The way he's got earmuffs on, though, because he's like naturally cold, isn't he? So he wouldn't want to be too warm, because he might melt. Maybe he has just got cold ears. Um, beautiful Christmas tree. Love that kind of Victorian style, vintage style uh, lantern you've got in there as well. Uh, you don't always put a scarf on a snowman, do you? You don't when you build them, but when you draw them, yes. Mm. Oh, Charlotte always puts a scarf on a snowman, apparently. I can't remember the last time I built a snowman. One of the reasons I moved up north was to get the snow, and it hasn't been, been snowed since it came up here. Not going to snow now, Charlotte, is it? It's spring and summer on the way. It, it won't snow now. It's getting It snowed warm. on the first day of the cricket season before now. Has it? Mm -hmm. May. It snowed in May? What, mm -hmm. in Nottinghamshire? Or yeah. up here? No, probably down south a bit further. There you go. Just saying. You watch now. I've cursed it now. <laughs> Next week we'll be getting the snow plough into work. Um, also a lovely stamp set, which again is all about that uh, beautiful vintage snowman. But the fact that he's carrying a little cane there, he looks a very like showbiz snowman, doesn't he? Like he's going to like break into a little dance there. Uh, but look, keep Christmas in your heart. Uh, Merry Christmas. There's a little Robin there. Your little um, Holly and Ivy snowflakes. Then you've got your sets of sentiments in here too. These are really nice. Your seasonal sentiments with the different sort of style of fonts in there. Merry Christmas, snow much fun, season's greetings, merry and bright. And then lastly in that set is your very, very nice, very versatile, super beautiful uh, cut and emboss fold. If I just give that a little bit of an angle to the light, you can see all of the detail that you get from the actual emboss. And you get that gorgeous cut out element here as well. So perfect for um, like box lids, I always think, shaker cards as well. Um, or if you just need a little aperture. 
Uh, maybe to stamp a little scene behind as well. You could do that. It's entirely up to you. Maybe to pop a little photo in also. Uh, but can you believe £12 for all of that? Um, is incredible and we can have a look at some finished cards with Corin. I'm just looking I'm just thinking oh I'll show you in a minute what I was thinking right so we have got the sleigh with our lovely little snow couple and the front and look at the they are proper proper scene building stamps and dies aren't they you can really tell some lovely stories cut stamp them cut them out and give them to the children to color and create their own story now just looking at the cut and emboss folder with our snowman just here what you could actually do is that looks lovely and you've got texture and dimension but that snowman here is so close to being the same size it's exactly the same image oh yeah you could cut that out and then decoupage it onto here nice. for another texture, for another dimension. Mm -hmm. I think that would look really... I just saw that and thought, oh, that would work. That would really work. And then, you know, have him as the centre of your... centrepiece of your project, if that's what you want. Amazing. Uh, all of those for £12 or fifteen twenty. Um, Charlotte just says, we love the Vintage Snowman collection. You can do so much with it. And the price is bonkers. Isn't it bonkers? Almost as bonkers as someone wearing a Christmas waistcoat on the 5th of April. Uh, if you don't have it, grab it, says Charlotte. And Charlotte also says, oops, I obviously meant intricate, not intimate uh, doilies. But as I write romance, my devices are used to autocorrect. Ha ha. I did not know that you wrote romance, Charlotte. Um, Nicola's asking whether you have a book and should we be searching for it and should we, should we be reading it? Nicola wants to know. Uh, Annie Cagle says, Ben, I sent a couple of pics of a snowman I built all by myself. Oh, we'll have a look. Uh, are they good? They're adorable, They're adorable. says Nicola. Mm. Totes adorbs. Uh, she's going, oh, they're so small. We need to see them, please. Uh, and Brendan Monroe says, vintage snowman, those are just darling. It's hilarious that we're getting all of these photos sent in from you guys in the States. And literally, I don't know, 20 second walk around the corner, Corinne sent her picture Nicola, from the gallery. Nicola, I've sent it to your email address now. It's not going to get there. It's not. It's got lost. Was it like a big image or no. something? No. Just a picture of Elsie in front of the Christmas tree with a Santa Paws coat on. Ah. So. Well, hopefully it gets there. Yeah. Before the I end know. of the show. We're finishing in 20 minutes. Um, the Bethlehem collection. So again, we've got a craft bolt set here for you. Six piece selection with 17 dies, 23 stamps in total. Uh, again, the price is incredible here. 48 pounds is what you should pay. $61 comes down to 13 pounds 60 or $16.80. My favorite die in the collection is that one. I love that. It's got that uh, beautiful sort of um, stained glass window effect to it. Uh, paper piece, yes. Um, on your acetate and uh, colour in, yes. It would look absolutely beautiful, but um, really lovely with the three kings there uh, taking their gifts of frankincense, myrrh, gold. Gold. How can you forget gold? Frankincense, gold and myrrh. myrrh. The Balthazar, Casper and Melchior. That's what they're called. Yeah. Balthazar, Melchior and Casper. I've just seen Jane says, Jane Farmer says she was born May 1975 and it snowed on the day she came out of hospital. There you go. What? That's weird because 1975 snowed in May, 1976 was the hottest, one of the hottest years ever wasn't it because I can yeah. remember that well there you go and they said that global warming is a thing now and it wasn't back in the day just goes there to prove go. doesn't it yeah um where where were you um what hospital was that Jane where was that where it's in the UK in May let us know let us know <laughs> oh dear uh bearing gifts that one is called you've then got uh this set of well I say this set it is a beautiful die which says aside at night you can get the little beautiful star in there too the star of wonder Blessed Bauble, that again is that uh, beautiful Christmas scene. You've got the little baby Jesus away in the manger there and the decoration um, around the outside. Then you've got two stamp sets in here as well. This one's called Your Joyous Sentiment. Uh, lots of different kind of um, Christmassy songs on here almost. All is calm, all is bright. Seasons greetings, wishing you joyous, a joyous Christmas. 
uh, sending Christmas blessings unto us, a child is born, and then you even get those little uh, sort of smaller stamped images there too. Uh, this one is your wondrous sentiment. This is the one I was meaning, which has got all the Christmas songs on. So Silent Night, Peace on Earth, uh, Christmas Blessings from our family to yours and joy to the world. And the little town of Bethlehem is the uh, dice set there where you can build up your own scene. Uh, if you like this within this set, you'll love the, um, the build a scene collection, which we've got as well further down the show. You can see all of these deals and more on the shop the show page on the website all the deals for the whole day on the shop the day page worth having a little bit of a look sandra says the magician's nephew yep. oh this is the narnia chronicles yep. the silver chair voyage of the dawn treader the lion witch in the wardrobe and then there was three more oh wow i've got your picture corin oh you got it Tone. and finally it's <laughs> <laughs> that is cute. Can we see? Is it too dark? Hopefully it's no, not too dark. No, it's dark. fine. I'm just getting the... <laughs> Hello. She Look wasn't impressed. She wouldn't move. Was she not? No. Where did you get the costume from? Primark. Did you actually? Yeah. That is brilliant. <laughs> and the arms are supposed to wiggle when she walks, but she just refuses to walk. She does. I've got to be honest. She doesn't look best impressed. She's not. Mm. Yeah. Do you know it's funny actually? Um, uh, Charlotte's just saying when she puts a coat on her dog, Tyne, she freezes. And you, um, you do the same with Mac. If you put, he's all right. With, if you put his um, like his raincoat on him, but if you put like a Christmas jumper on him, he just yeah, he just stands there. Elsie's like got three fleecy jumpers that I put on her when it's really muddy to try and keep a bit of the mud off her. And when you put them on, she just stands there like that to begin with, until she's so desperate to go out for a walk, she'll move. Yeah, fun, she, isn't it? She's not impressed with me. So funny. Yeah. Uh, Shall I show you these quickly then? Oh yeah, have a look. There we go, because I've got them out. I mean, they, this I think has to be one of my favourite cards of the whole, of the craft vault dough. It's absolutely gorgeous. Using that beautiful, beautiful um, um, collection. So using those dies for that stained glass window. Using that gorgeous bauble and the silent night. But then you can just make it smaller. Those Bethlehem scenes, this is what we're saying, isn't it, about mixing and matching. This with those scene builders would work so, so well. Or how about a Z Fold card like that? Really? Mm, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, all of that again is incredible for that price. £13.60, uh, $16.80 if you're in the US and you're part of them. Uh, Mary says, we've had snow in Maine in May before. Sometimes on Easter too. I do remember having said that, but I think it's when I think it's when Easter fell earlier. I do remember, and it flashes up sometimes on Facebook, us doing an Easter egg hunt with the kids when they were a lot younger in the snow. But oh, I wow. think that's when Easter sort of fell. March. March time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is sort of middle of the road Easter, isn't it? It's never any later than my birthday, which is 18th of April. Yeah. That can be Easter weekend, but it never goes later than that. Sandra Dundas, Sandra up the road, says, in 1975, it snowed at the beginning of June in North Shields. Wow. I remember it because it was my A-level year and I was in hospital. Wow. wow. Well, I take it back then. There's me going, oh, it's never going to snow. It's April. Sorry. We get snowed in now in the middle of July. Uh, you know You'll be coming blame. and fetching us to get to work. Right. Uh... Am I on the right one? I am on the right one. Christmas decorative stamp and dies. This is a six piece collection. Um, it's actually 12 dies and six stamps you're going to be receiving here. And this is proved popular too today. It's, it's, um, we've got lots of sort of 12 and 16 pound items on the show. And you talk about this is one of the higher priced items of 36 pounds or 42.40. But look at what you should be paying. 101 pounds, 119 dollars. And we just casually save you £56, $66, give you your club discount, uh, spend £36, $42 here, add a little bit more into your basket, get up to that 60 threshold and we'll give you £15 off. Incredible. 
And these really are beautiful because again, you get a lovely selection of uh, different frames. Um, and whether you use um, the uh, inner die or use the inner and the outer die, you can create beautiful cuttings for your card, beautiful panels for cards. This one here, I always think as well, um, looks like the kind of thing that you can definitely snip into whether you want to create like a slightly different aperture, maybe bigger aperture, maybe you want to um, snip, cut this and then snip out more snowflakes for embellishments, you can. You get lovely sentiments with all of these two. So uh, this one says, wishing you a Christmas filled with the warmth of family, friends and fun. And obviously they're all size and shape perfectly to fit in those apertures. Yes, absolutely. Uh, follow the star. Again, I mean, you, like you said earlier on though, you think about a lot of the... Um, sentiments that we've shown you from other collections that the majority of these are big mm. sized apertures so you'll fit in uh lots of uh sentiments within these also potentially other characters from other collections yeah. and loads more um this one again beautiful if you want to do a bit of paper piecing uh, a bit of coloring add a little sentiment in here which is your star of wonder star of night then you have got the christmas well living room uh, home for christmas with the christmas tree and the christmas decorations uh, the little swirly, squirrely, snaily thing down here. Then you've got the uh, Christmas foliage. I really like this one actually uh, because you've got your Christmas florals on there. You've oh, got so your nice. um, you've got your poinsettia there. Um, I always see those as like little Christmas candy canes. Those could be if you did that, like sort of back that onto a little bit of um, red. Uh, you've also got the decoration there too with deck the halls, which you could go uh, and pop into the centre. Uh, this one is your dashing through the snow, which is Father Christmas and the gang flying over the rooftops. Uh, again, really easy to create that effect uh, and pop your sentiment in the centre. And then lastly in this collection, you have got your Merrily on High uh, with the dingly dongly bells and your um, Holly and Ivy in there too. Uh, all of that you're getting for just £36 or $42.40. Uh, we have some finished Samples with yes. Corin. And look at this. This is another one where we've been able to take away that outer die to give us a larger border around there. Then we've got our water reactive inks to create some lovely effects. You can um, do your colouring. Look at that onto the silver. And then we've paper pieced. And then this one we said was absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? That follow the star really really lovely using the stamp as well and I'll show you this one again because I just think it's so pretty where we've done it in the um, white we've coloured it then we've backed it onto the black to give that lovely effect so we've done it as a sort of sort of z-fold on there the ding dong merrily on high which one looks cool. oh we have a clock I like this that's from the Nutcracker box. Oh, that's great. Yes. In the background, my grandpa, the clock. That way, that way, sorry. There we are. Lovely, absolutely gorgeous. And then finally, our Santa oh, is dashing through the snow. There we go. Uh, Jane Farm, you know Jane, who said it's snowed. When she came out of hospital in 1975? Yeah. Yeah. Hitchin. All right. Hertfordshire. That's quite south as well. Hertfordshire is south, isn't it? Yeah. Hertfordshire's down south. Lot oh, yeah, further down south. That's like the next county along from Buckinghamshire. Yeah. Isn't it? I get born wow. in Buckinghamshire. So it is south. Yeah, snowing in May. Mm. Oh, and Leslie's filled in the gaps with our, um, our oh, yeah. Narnia books. Horse and his boy. Yeah. Prince Caspian. Oh, we said that one. Last battle. So how many books were there then? That makes seven. One. Horse and Magician's his boy. nephew, silver chair, voyage of the dawn, lion witch in the wardrobe, horse and his boy, Prince Caspian, and the last battle. Seven. Who knew? You're a learned bunch, aren't you, eh? You are a learned bunch. Christmas fancy sentiments. Uh, Twelve pounds, fifteen dollars twenty for these. Let's do them the right way up. Um, here come the details for you. Right, so you're going to get your five-piece collection here. Ten stamps, five dies, just a nice, quick, but very, very uh, beautiful way of uh, expressing your Christmas sentiments in a card, maybe. Um, again, maybe you want to use these as decoration. Maybe you want to use these, like we said earlier on, for um, scrapbook pages, too. It's entirely up to you uh, how you decide to use these, but for each of the bigger main stamps, 
you get the uh, die to be able to go with that as well. So you've got the backing to be able to uh, pop it onto. Uh, this is a £35, $45 bundle uh, that you pay £12 or $15.24. Um, and we can show you through all of these. Uh, you've got your happy holidays. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Let it snow. Dingle all the way. That's my favourite Christmas movie. Oh, did anyone see, by the way? I know, because obviously it's got Arnie, and you know how much I love Arnie. He's got a new series coming out on Netflix soon. No. Ah? Huh? It's an action thing. It's basically, if you've seen the movie True Lies, it, apparently it's a bit of a follow-on from True Lies. It's that usual thing, you know, uh, old, retired ex-police guy comes out of retirement for one last mission but it's a, it's a series um, that he's doing it looks really good uh, and apparently it's the first action series that he's ever done because he only ever does films doesn't he all oh, right so yeah i'm looking forward to that that's coming out in may on netflix finally i'll watch something on netflix <laughs> uh yeah so jingle all the way and believe in the magic of christmas do you remember one of our first shows many moons ago before I came here? Me and you. You did, a ch you did a chipmunk. I think you should do all of those in chipmunk voice. <laughs> that was special effects though, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. I've still, <gasps> I've still got that clip somewhere uh, <gasps> oh, on my hilarious. old... Uh, oh, by the way, that just reminded me too. Uh, I know a lot of you, uh, you, you obviously follow us on our various social pages. If you ever want to find out anything that we do, uh, we are uh, at, um, for me, for example, I am at Ben Mosby CC, Corinne, at Corinne Robinson CC. Those are our pages here. Mm -hmm. My page from the other place where I used to work is still live, and I know a lot of people follow me on that page. And if you think, he never posts anything on there, that's because that's my old, oh. old page. Yeah. Um, so follow me on at Ben Mosby CC. But that's the page where I think I've still got, I'll have a look a when we come up there. That was me hilarious. chipmunk. With the, I don't know how, well, I didn't know how they did it. Um, we were at another place, and I can't remember why they started doing the chipmunk. There was a die chipmunk. of a chipmunk. Is that what it was? Yeah. And then the, um, the guys in the gallery thought it might be quite fun to do, like, voice distortion, um, and then they, they put our voices as chipmunks, and we didn't realise until everyone started laughing. Because could we couldn't hear, output, could we? we couldn't hear the output. It was very funny. Very funny. Uh, Triple up what sentence. you can do with them. So we did show you earlier how easy these are to do. So, as we said... Cut them first, die cut them first, and then stamp on top of those. That is the easiest way. Don't try to stamp and die cut. Yes, you can do it, but it's so much harder because, you know, they're harder to line up. So we've got the believe. We've got the let it snow. We've got the Merry Christmas. I do think that one is so, is so nice. pretty. And then we've got jingle all the way. There jingle, we go. jingle, jingle, jingle all the way. Jingle, jingle all the way. And oh, it does jingle. Bells. And it does jingle. Where are these? I was doing a craft project this year and I wanted like a set of jingle bells and I bought them off a well known retailer online that we'd all buy for. And I got 300. <laughs> so I've still got something like 299 bells in the, bo in the bag. 299 bells in the bag, 299 <laughs> bells. That's it. <laughs> Uh, who's commenting? Final few comments coming through. Um, Stephanie says, I would love to see more shows like this. That, that's very okay. So she, the, I think she just loves us showing the she, samples. Yeah, because she, it's just, you can show more samples than we could do demos of. I could, you know, I've shown you, say, 10 samples from each collection. I could only probably do you one or two demos. So, yeah, I think she's enjoying the variety of samples. Yeah, she says, the card samples have been fabulous. Fantastic job, everyone. Well, thank you, Stephanie. Mm. Uh, Rosalind. Oh, Rosalind, your dog's from earlier. Dog's names are Ralph and Rosie. Uh, putting my kitchen back together after renovations. Oh, nice. Well, what a fabulous show that has been. Um, if you have just joined us, I'm going to take this off now, actually, and put my normal one back on, I think. Um, that was the Christmas craft fault. It was. Uh, so hopefully we've managed to furnish you with lots of great deals as far as uh, Christmas is concerned. I'm going to put me other waistcoats down here. Uh, is concerned, and um, I do feel I do feel a bit weird when I don't 
<laughs> I didn't wear a waistcoat. Do you wear a waistcoat non-work? If I'm going out smart, I do. But I was saying something to someone the other day, I, I like to think I'm sort of fairly smart here. Uh, you know, a bit of a dapper sort of chapper. But when I'm at home, tracky bottoms, scruffy hoodies. Yeah. yeah. I just slump out of it. You've got to. You've got to, haven't you? Yeah. You know. Then you know you're coming to work when you're dressed. Yeah. Yeah. Get in the zone, that's it. The waistcoat wonder, as um, Rebecca Redican calls me. Anyway, yeah, the waistcoat wonder. Anyway, what's I saying? Oh, yes. So, uh, Christmas Craft Bowl, all the deals are staying there live for you on the website. Do make sure you check them out. We've covered off all of the deals pretty much over the course of this show, uh, but grab them. I can't tell you how long they're going to stay there for. And as I said earlier, whilst you know on the 5th of April, you might not have been thinking about uh, buying Christmas goodies. Why wouldn't you today when you see those discounts? And why wouldn't you? When if you spend 60 today with us, you can get £15, $15 off using the code which is on the website. We're just about done here. Uh, Corinne and I will be back in a couple of hours' time. We have got beautiful beginnings uh, where we have got some amazing deals coming up on the set with flowers collection. We've got a wonderful bundle of water active ink pads, plus those mindfulness quote stamps uh, and a wonderful rocker block hero tool. All that is on the way. And um, if you've got any questions when it comes to kind of back to basics, that is the show to be watching because uh, we're happy, well, always happy to answer your questions, but particularly on that show, uh, any back to basics questions you want to get answered. Uh, please get ready to ask them. Thanks for a brilliant show, everybody. Thank you for all the pictures. Thank you for all of the fun. We will see you back here in two hours' time for Beautiful Beginnings. Until then, though, bye for now. <laughs>